Well, that was weird. My camera's being all bizarre. All right. Hey, pup. Hey, little dude. Hey, cat's dog. September 24th. Hello. I want to talk about something today. Another little vlog. About exercise. And expectations. We, meaning like humans in general, there seems to be this thought that you're going, that somebody, that was me trying to figure out how to use better language, because I was about to say you, and I don't want it to be so accusational. Um, people have a tendency to say this, I'm going to get in shape. As if you change your diet and you exercise like crazy and then you get to a certain fitness level and then that's it. You're at a certain fitness level, like forever. It's not how it works. I'll tell you from a guy who works out every day. The bodies are stubborn. They like to adapt and they like to store food as fat. These are facts. You hit a certain age, your metabolism shifts dramatically, and you get even better at storing food as fat. We're in a constant state of change every day. Every day. Things are a little different every day. You wake up a little different. You feel better, you feel worse, you feel this, you feel that. And I wonder if people get discouraged when they don't see the progress they want right away or when their progress moves away from their goal. Say they want to lose 10 pounds and they lose a pound, they lose a pound, they lose a pound and they gain a pound and they're like, oh, it's useless. Every day it's going to be different. And it doesn't matter if it's a relationship with a person, with a pet, with an object, with your own life, with yourself, with, with diet, with exercise. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. Tomorrow's gonna be different. We talk about certain things in yoga class, like uh, at the end of a class, I might say something like, arms overhead, deep breath in, toes point to the front of the room, full body stretch, as if you've just woken up. And then we roll over to the right side, pillowing our head on our arm. This posture representing rebirth and renewal. You're not the same person you were when you first stepped on your mat. And that's true. We're in a constant state of shifting out of wherever we were to wherever we are to wherever we're going. And there's a difference between having weight loss or body composition goals as opposed to healthy lifestyle go goals. In yoga, specifically the yoga that I teach, you think about bones and joints and brain. We don't really develop muscle directly if you do squats, if you're doing warrior ones and crescents and ukatasana in a class and you're moving through the healthy mobility of those joints, your hips, knees, and ankles, you're going to build your quadriceps, glutes, hamstrings, calves. They're going to come along for the ride and they're going to come along for the, for the ride exactly how they need to, to compensate for the work that's being done. And I think the same concept can be applied to health and wellness and fitness and diet and exercise. Focus on eating good foods and making good healthy food choices. Yes. 
focus on making good oh okay focus on making good physical choices right move always move toward more activity and away from being sedentary avoid massive intake of sugar now you're gonna eat a Snickers for a snack listen I like Snickers if I was gonna eat a candy bar I might eat a Snickers In my spare time, I help people build things. Porches, decks, bathrooms, roofs. Oh no. I gotta get that. Why does that matter? Because sometimes you're building some stuff and you, you, just, you just eat a candy bar. That's the best decision you can make at that time. But I don't eat candy as a lifestyle choice, right? I eat it as a momentary need for hunger, and that's, that's kind of my point. You don't have to have a diet that is, like, set in stone. Worse than that, if you hate your, the food choices you're eating, you're not going to stick to them. If you hate the type of movement exercise you're doing, you're not going to stick to it. But if you, if, if I'm constantly worried about the shape my body is in, I'm not going to be making any good choices. I'm going to be worrying about something else. Like, make the good choices. So how I'm trying to live my life, and I'm doing a reasonable job of it. I'd say pretty good. Pretty good. Very, very, pretty good to very good. Make good choices. And your body will follow along. Kind of like move through this posture and your muscles will build as needed. Like I do high to low push-ups every morning. Doesn't mean I can crank out a hundred of them. That's a separate goal for later. But my body is really good at doing sun salutations. That's why I vary them a little bit to give my body a little bit of a different thing to hang on to, right? Because we're always changing and your body wants to find a way to conserve energy. So if you're thinking of diet, you're thinking of exercise, you're thinking of body composition. Instead of having negative thoughts about yourself when you eat a candy bar. Just let that go. I want to sneeze. <laughs> yeah, that was a sneeze. Ugh. Instead of having negative thoughts about eating a candy bar, for example, don't worry about that. Next time you're about to eat a candy bar, maybe make a choice that is healthier and more nutritionally complex. Cultivate a good habit instead of trying to stop what you perceive as a bad habit. And eventually the good habit will fill more and more time. And as you make good choices, or better choices, right? Good, good in this context. What's good in this context? It's, it's making choices that will allow you to move towards your goal. Whatever that means. I don't know what your goal is. So making good choices, right? I don't want this to see be like a royal good as in there's a universally good thing. Try to cover a lot of bases. So by making good choices, whether it's in mobility and movement or it's in uh, food intake, your body will follow along. And it will take a while. It's taken me my whole life to get to right where I am right this moment. And it's going to take some time to change that if I want to. She constantly wants him to want the toy she has. But he has learned he does not wrestle with her because she's feisty. But he'll run with her. And he loves to take the toy from her and run away. But he won't... Hey! No pause. Good dodge, dude. Good dodge. I want to go do yoga. My, my, uh, my vinyasa practice. <clears throat>
trying some new stuff. Thank you for joining me on my practice today. Namaste.